Well, France is showing the same sense of urgency, but the issue they're tackling is different. There's a different threat that they're facing, a potential military rebellion. An open letter was published last week. It was signed by 1,000 military officers, both serving and retired, 1,000. The letter says France could face a civil war and threatens a military coup. So does the French military plan to overthrow French President Emmanuel Macron? Our next report gets you the answers. Is France close to a civil war? If a group of retired and serving officers are to be believed, political Islam is a serious threat. And President Emmanuel Macron's failure to crack down on Islamists may lead to the disintegration of France. They don't even rule out a military coup to take back control. These opinions were published by a far-right magazine this month. It was an open letter, signed by about 1,000 servicemen and women, including 20 retired generals. The letter was timed to send a message. It was released on the 60th anniversary of a failed coup attempt. In 1961, these generals had launched a coup against President Charles de Gaulle. They wanted to force a decision to stop the independence of Algeria. The letter met with outrage in the French government. A crackdown followed. Reports say 18 soldiers will face military sanctions. The French Armed Forces Chief of Staff says each of them will go before a senior military council. They could be either delisted or forced into immediate retirement. Other signatories could face formal action too. The French Defense Ministry says these servicemen have broken military rules by appealing to their peers to take up arms against the country. But the story has taken a life of its own. A poll found that 58% of the French people agree with the sentiments of the letter. Marine Le Pen, the opposition leader who plans to challenge Macron in the next election, has added more fuel to the fire. She called on the signatories to support her bid for presidency in 2022. This clamor from the right wing comes at a time when the French government is pushing an anti-corruption bill. After several terror attacks in the last seven months, Macron wants to tighten the surveillance powers of security agencies. He wants to use algorithms to detect activity on jihadist and extremist websites. One must know when someone types five or six times a search for a video for a decapitation, for example from the Islamic State group on the internet. The intelligence services cannot know and follow that person. Tomorrow we can know this information. The French security agency will ask the interior minister, the prime minister and the national commission of technical intelligence, which is an independent administrative body, that it is already following telephone calls the possibility to uncover the anonymity of the person who is conducting that search in order to be able, if the threat is grave and confirmed, to follow and eventually intervene. France is at a crossroads. It could use a tip from history. A democracy remains stable only as long as the civilian leadership remains in control of the armed forces. The letter was just an outburst from the French but the right wing dragged it to the mainstream, a clear sign that the threat of Islamic terrorism will dominate the election discourse in France. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.